This Sudoku Primer video is the answer sheet to the pop quiz in video 213. If you haven't seen the pop quiz yet, go to the previous video or click on the link below to see the video, the pop quiz video first. In this video, I'll enter the numbers in the same order as I did in the pop quiz, but this time I'll explain how I got each number. This is puzzle number 86 from Sudoku to Go, volume 133. Before I get started, I want to um, let you know that you still have a chance to win a Sudoku Primer t-shirt. There's a drawing on the Sudoku Primer website where you have a chance to win one of five Sudoku Primer t-shirts. So go to the, the Sudoku Primer website and click on the menu and you'll see where the contest is. Or you can click on the link below uh, to go to enter, in the, to enter the drawing. This drawing ends in about a week. It ends on November 23rd, 2020. Alright, this first number here is pretty easy. Two here, two here, two here. And we got it. Alright, the next three numbers, a four here, a two, and a four there. I found those because first of all we have a four here and a four here, so that makes that a four. And then we have two four twins here, because we have a two and a four there in this column, and a two and a four in this row. So these are two four twins that we can solve because of this four here. All right, and then we've got uh, eight here and eight here, so that's an eight. And a five here and a five here, so that's a five. All right, and then we got a six in box nine right there. Six is there and a six there, so that has to be the. That's the only place you can have a six. All right, and then I put a two right here. And that was the first number I mentioned. Uh, that was, that's a bit of a tricky one. Um, and the way I found that is because we've got a two here and a two here, a six here and a six here. So these are two six twins. Over here in box five, we have a six here and a six here. So one of these is a six. So if we use the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles, these two, yeah, two six twins here and a six goes in one of these two places. And because of that, and because of the uh, unique rectangles, we know that neither one of these can be a two. We've got a two here, so that forces a two into one of these two cells. So that we, therefore we have a two here, goes two there, so we know that's a two. So we have two there and two there already. All right, and now we have uh, we have our two six twins here, and the two goes here or here. And if we use double row elimination here, we know the two goes in this row in box five. And by the way, any techniques I talk about or patterns, you can find on SudokuPrimer.com. There's a pattern section and a technique section out there where you can learn about all these different techniques I'm using. So we put a 2 in right here. That's because of the a 2 goes here or here and a 2 goes here or here. Using double row elimination we know the 2 goes here in this box and there's a 2 there and a 2 there already. So the 2 goes there. All right. And again we have a 6 here and a 6 here so one of the leftover ones here is a 6. There's six there, so using double row elimination again, we've put that two in, or that six in there. All right, now we've got a, a three here. We've got a three here, so one of these is a three. Um, because of that three there, and so we know that neither of these can be a three, so we know that's a three right there. 
all right? And then um, we know a 3 goes in one of these three cells here, because we've got a 3 here, we have ghost 3s there. So one of these 3, and there's a 3 there, so it has to be in one of these two. And we know it's this one because we've got a 3 here and a 3 here, so we have ghost 3s here. So 3, ghost 3s, so the 3 goes there. All right, now we got a seven right here because we have a seven there and a wall, wall here. A seven in this column and a wall here, so um, seven has to go in one of these two places in in box eight. So box five has a seven right there. All right, now we got a a 9 in box 8, it goes right there because we've got a 9 here and we've got ghost 9's here because of this wall wall here. And the wall is in the pattern section if you want to read more about that. So we know one of these has to be a 9 and there's a 9 there already. All right. And with these 6's we know that's a 6 right there in box 2. All right. And then the second one that I talked about, there I put a 1 and a 5 in right here. And I mentioned that, um, see if you could see how I got those. Well, we have a T pattern right here. Uh, and we got a 3 and an 8 in this row right here, so we know these are 3 8 twins. So with these 3 and 8 twins here, even though we can't solve them, we know these are 1 and 5, and so we can solve those. So those were pretty easy compared to this one here. All right. Then we go to row 8, and we put a 1 and a 3 in. We put a 1 here and a 3 there. And that's because we're missing four numbers, 1, 3, 4, and 7. There's a 4 and a 7 there, so that's a 1 or a 3. There's a 4 and a 7 there, so that's a 1 or a 3. We've got a 3 there already. And even if we couldn't solve these two numbers, we'd know these are 4, 7 twins, because these are 1, 3 twins. All right, now we put a 3 right here. And the way we got that was we found out that these are, this is a 1 or a 9, and this is a 1 or a 9. So we have 1, 9 twins here. And this has to be 1, 3, or 9, three numbers that are missing there. Since that can't be a one or a nine because of these one nine twins right here and right here we know that has to be a three let me just show you here we had one three and nine missing here there's a three there so that's a one or a nine we're also we also know this is a one or a nine we got a one two three four five six seven eight nine so one nine twins right there All right, now we have a, uh, then we put a six right here. What are we missing here in this column? One, five, six, eight. And there's a one, five, and an eight in this row already, so we know that has to be a six. All right, then we put a six in box four, and that one's easy, six, 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 six. So we put the six in right there. Once we put the six in, we knew the two goes here and the two goes here because of the twos we found earlier and the, the two six twins. And that's, one of these was a six, one of these was a two. All right, now we have a 9 missing here. Very easy, because the only number left. And we got a 9 here already, so we know that is a 9 also. And now we 
put in a three. We've got a three here, a three here, a three here, so we know that's a three. Um, <clears throat> there's only four numbers left here. One, three, seven, and nine. There's a seven, and there's a seven, so that's a that's a seven there, and there's a three here, because I have three, three. So these are three seven twins, and these are one nine twins. And I put the three in first, then the seven, then the one, then the nine. All right. Now we've got in box five, we have three and eight missing here. Remember our T pattern here, and we found the one fives, and we knew these are three eight twins. With that three, we can solve those now. All right, and then the one one, there's a one there. All right, and then we've got a seven in box seven, seven, seven. There's seven there, so that's a seven. Okay, now in box eight, we're missing four, seven, and eight. We have four and a seven there. So we can put an eight there, seven, seven, so seven, four. Now we've got an eight, one, five, and eight missing here. There's an eight, so neither of these can be an eight, so we put an eight in there. And then we put a five there, because that one and the one goes there. All right, now we're only missing five and eight here in box six, so we can solve them. And with that, we've only got one number missing in this column, so that's an, a one. And this is an eight. It's got an eight here already. All right, now we're only missing two numbers here, and that's five and one in row three. Uh, box two is missing eight and nine, so we can solve them. Uh, one and nine, box one. And a four, nine, five, one here. There's a f this is a loner cell here, and there's, there's a four. There's no four in this box yet, so we know that's a four. And then we're have, we have a 9, 5, and 1. 5 and 1 there. 1 there. And that's it. We're done. So that's how we found each number in the uh, pop quiz. I did want to mention that uh, there were a couple of comments about how some of the numbers... Um, could have been found in a different sequence um, on this puzzle, and th and that's true. Uh, and I just uh, I solved it pretty much in the way that I did in the pop quiz when I first solved this puzzle. So I just uh, chose to uh, go in that sequence when I solved that puzzle. Well, thanks for watching, and you guys stay safe out there.